Hey doodlers, I know it's been a little while since I have put a video together, but you know, somebody asked me a question having to do with doodly templates and I thought it would make a great video. So what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna talk about templates for a little bit, what they are, what they can do for you, and then we're gonna go ahead and make one, okay? Right now I'm actually on the doodly marketplace uh, website, okay, where you can, if you wanted to purchase additional images and audios and templates, this is where you would do it, okay? However, you do come equipped with lots of free ones in your program, whether you've purchased standard or enterprise, okay? So we'll just scroll here real quick. You can take a quick look at what they have to offer as far as like for sale, okay? But we're not going to hang out here. What we're gonna do is we're going to go right to Doodly, okay? If you have decided to go ahead and start working with Doodly, all right, and this video is really geared more toward total beginners, you know, or maybe those of you who are still on the fence wondering if it's worth it for you to start using this program. I'm gonna tell you, I love it, and I'm not getting paid to say this or create these videos, okay? I'm not an affiliate, I'm just doing this because I love the program, I enjoy it, and I'm excited about teaching you guys cool stuff, okay? So I have the enterprise membership. I've had this for about two and a half years now, and the templates are a newer feature. And what they do is they add cool stuff in as time goes on. And all of these here, these were all for free. I did not pay for any of these, okay? And again, whether you've got standard or enterprise, it's just gonna be the difference of how many of these free ones you get, okay? So I believe with the enterprise, you get about 40 or so, and-ish, and, -ish. and um, maybe something to that effect. I'm not entirely sure, 40, 48, I'm not sure, okay? And then with the standard, I think it's maybe about half as much, all right? And if you bought any, they would go here. So what we're gonna do, a template. What do you do with a template? A template is a pre-made video. It's got all kinds of stuff in here, okay? You've got all your scenes and your graphics and your characters. You've even got wording in here. You would simply change things out if you wanted to, or you could just kind of update the information and use them. Perfect for your own business, perfect if you are creating videos for other people, and perfect, especially for those of you who do not know how to create a video or what to do first, these would be great to maybe start with, and then you could kind of build your skills and your imagination and everything on top of these, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to preview one of these, okay? So let's go to maybe the luxury salon. You can hit a preview button, and it's going to show you here what you're working with. So these go anywhere from about 45 seconds to a minute and some change. Uh, some of them come pre-equipped with music. You can always add that in, take it out, add in a voiceover. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, okay? So that's totally customizable. I'm gonna shut that off for now so it doesn't echo. You can preview it in full screen if you want, okay? And quickly, you can see she's in color and all of these are in black and white. If you have Doodly Rainbow, which is an add-on product, I purchased it. I personally thought it was well worth it. You don't have to, but if you have Doodly Rainbow, you will be able to make these look this way. Otherwise, you can always bring in different characters from free websites. I will link a video um, right over here and in the description box, you'll see that in a playlist where you can get free assets for your Doodly videos. But in the meantime, Doodly Rainbow, you can make them look like this. It's very easy, we'll, we'll show you that. And otherwise, even the black and white videos are just lovely, they are perfect, and I personally don't care which one I watch, okay? So what we can do here is you can see how it works, okay? And you can see that there is uh, some closed captioning here, you know, some subtitles, whatever. You can put it in whatever language you need to, and I'm gonna show you how you can do all of that as well. All right, so they're just kind of moving along and you would use this to sort of preview what everything would look like. And if you're cool with it, you would simply exit out of that and click on it. You could name it here. We'll just title it Salon, hit Create. And if you wanted to, you can just change the name of it here, okay, if you wanted to. 
All right, so you can see everything is loaded up. It's loaded up in black and white. All right, the music is already preloaded. Okay, if you want to change that, you can simply come here and you would listen to some different stuff. Okay, as you can see, I've uploaded a ton of my own stuff, so I have to scroll down pretty far to get to Doodly stuff. They do have some sound bites. You know, this is also something a little bit newer that I think is really cool. You can add some little sound effects in there, which is pretty awesome. All right, but in the music here, as you can see, it's preloaded. If you wanted a voiceover, you would put it in here or you can simply record your own, okay? And that would go here. Just a little quick rule of thumb with the, with the audios, music, if you don't want that to overpower your voiceover, you would put that very, very low and then you would preview it until you get to a sound that you like, okay? It's just something I think that is worth mentioning. What you would do here, is you would go to the scene settings and in every scene, so this is a scene, this is a scene, this is a scene, and you would go through and you would alter whatever it is you want, okay? So you can come in here, actually you can come here as well, all right? So these would be for the entire video settings, I believe. You can turn Doodly Rainbow on if you have it, okay? You can enable auto save and it'll save automatically every single minute. Okay. You can choose when your video ends. So if the video ends, you know, before, I don't know, the music or so, you can always change stuff like that. You can change the hand styles here, left handed, right handed, cartoon hands. You've got all kinds of things here. You can change out your resolution. All right, you can create a custom, and it's really cool. They created a Facebook and Instagram um, resolution as well, or size, all right? You can turn the subtitles on and off here. You can always alter your background here, all right? Um, I happen to love, I usually love to use the, uh, the glass board, but I'm not sure it is available right here. And they do have some 3D hands also, which is pretty cool. Okay. So we're just gonna exit out of that. All right, so you can set your video scenes there. You can also do it by the scene here. So this is where I had said, okay, salon name. We can just maybe put salon, we'll just put salon pure here, okay? You can change out your, your extra time at the end for how long you'll see that last scene before it goes to the next one, okay? You can turn on Doodly Rainbow here. It's going to turn the entire scene into the color, all right? And you can always, with each scene, you can customize the settings. So with each scene, you can choose a different hand for each scene if you want, okay? You can do a cartoon hand for this one. Let's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just choose one, okay? And we can do that, all right? So it's going to turn this whole thing into color. And you can put your logo here, or you can simply just put in the business name if you wanted, okay? And if you wanted to make that bigger, you can certainly do that, All right. If you wanted to change the color, you can change the color right here. Something to that effect, apply, all right? And then you would save it and you would simply go on to the next scene, okay? And you would go through, and if there's nothing you wanted to change, you know, you can certainly do that. I'm gonna turn Doodly Rainbow on again. And again, if you have Doodly Rainbow, all you have to do is just turn it on, it'll change everything, okay? You can come in here, okay? So you would definitely read what they have going on, okay? And you would just change out whatever it is that you wanted to, I don't know, put in here, okay? Is there any other services? Stress relieving facial. How about meditation session? I don't know. I have no idea how that's gonna read, so I just kind of threw that in here. And let's, let's go ahead, I'll add another second in here since there is so much reading going on okay and it's changing everything and we'll save that real quick we'll come in here all right so as you can see 
Might want to, I don't know, move some stuff around a little bit. Okay. Stuff like that. Put in a service, take out a service. As you can see, there are a couple of little graphics that are sort of, you know, in the background here. They are meant to be, you know, just sort of a whisper. However, they are also customizable. You can come in here, change the opacity. I don't know. Let's make it a little bit less opaque. We'll turn Doodly Rainbow on. And as you can see here, you know, that is something that you can do. All right, so we'll just go ahead. We'll kind of throw that over here. Maybe we'll make that a little bit smaller if we want. But again, it's just to show you the kinds of things you can do. Or you can get rid of it completely if you wanted. You're just like, I don't really need that there. It's distracting, whatever. You can get rid of it, okay? So there's that scene. All right, here's another scene. Perhaps you'll want to, I don't know, throw a different character in here, something to that effect. So what you would do here is you want to kind of sometimes bring these down a little bit to make sure you've got access to these. If they move, you can use them. If they don't, then it might be kind of hard to, all right, which obviously those, but if they're too high up here, you won't be able to. Okay, so let's bring this down. We'll get rid of her real quick. All right, we can go into characters, seated female, and Looks like setted female, doesn't it? Seated female. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Let's just, uh, we'll just throw in Ava reading the news. Ah, yeah, reading the news. <laughs> okay. So she's here. She's reading the news. Okay. So maybe she's in the waiting area. I don't know. And we'll just, you know, maybe that'll work here. Maybe it won't. So we'll just say it won't. But this is just, again, this is just to show you. And I think there's something else here. I'm not sure what that is. There we go. Okay. So it just goes to show you can totally customize these scenes. Okay. As you can see, like I told you, I've got Doodly Rainbow on here. So all of this, anything I bring in is already going to be in color. But again, you would simply go to the scene settings you would turn Doodly Rainbow on and it'll change everything. Okay, so there you go. And it's going to save automatically after like a minute. And then you would simply go through the rest of them. Okay, and you could put your logo in, you could put your address, the phone number, the website. Okay, so you would simply put in, I don't know, salon. Pure 2021. Maybe it's a brand new one. I don't know. I have to take that out. Salonpure.com. And you can put that in. Okay. This is if this is what you named your place or what your client named your place. Okay. Or, you know, <laughs> you always do it on this one. So, or you could take this scene out because, you know, you might decide, hey, I want a shorter video and I don't really need two of the exact same thing. So you would simply come here or actually come here, delete that. All right. You've got a shorter video. All right. Now it's under a minute. You could, if it's under a minute, you can put it on Instagram. Um, and if you wanted to make it a little bit shorter even, okay. You can simply take that and kind of drag it back and forth, or you can come in here and you can customize, you know, the length of how long everything is drawn for. Okay. So you can make your changes that way. And now, as you can see, the music goes well beyond this last scene. So you can simply come here, drag it. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you could maybe fade it out, that kind of thing. All right, so in a nutshell, this is about how you would create a video, okay? So you would save it, and then you could preview it. Okay, yep, Salon Pure. So I am going to exit out of this just because, and as you can see here, meditation session. Okay, so as you can see, you know, altering that worked. Okay, and if you're happy with it, you would simply export it. All right, and here's where you have another opportunity. You could 
change the name of something. Actually, I, I, I would still change the name actually here if you wanted to, but you can change your resolution here. So if you wanted to create the Facebook and Instagram one, you can always do something like that here, okay? And it would change it, all right? Or you can just go back. I usually, let me see, I usually do that one. But again, if I wanted specifically for social media marketing on Facebook or Instagram, I would do the other one. And then you would simply save it, okay? You can change out maximum. I usually keep the maximum as well, okay? So that's what you would do, all right? And any time you want to come back and make some changes, you would have access to this stuff in your videos, okay? It'll save right here, and it'll leave off where you left off, okay? And if you wanted to, you can duplicate it. Yep, I do want to duplicate this video, okay? And now you'll have this, and it'll specifically say it's a copy, and you can come into the copy, and you can call it, um, I don't know, salon, salon, I don't know, salon Vogue. Okay. You could probably change a bunch of this stuff out and turn it into a cool barbershop video. Okay. But I'm just saying there's all kinds of really cool things that you can do with this. And the more you play with it, the more inspired you're going to get, all of that good stuff. I know it's a longer video, guys, but there was a lot to go over, and I just really wanted to try to um, share with you, like, everything that I could, okay? Enough for you to really feel like you were capable of getting in there and working with this. Real quick, you know, again, this is the duration of whatever is drawn, so you could, you know... Click on the plus button. Usually that should work. Four seconds, that would be kind of a bit much. Usually the default for everything here seems to be about three seconds. And if you want there to be a quick, you know, a little delay before, you know, they start drawing the girl, you would put that in here, okay? And then you can always save. And you'd want to just be mindful at the end of the video of how long it makes it, okay? As you can see, it just made it longer, so... We just extended it. All right. And then last, what I'm going to tell you is, is if you wanted to, and I did create another video on this as well, you can always add your own video outro. You would not do this in Doodly. You would simply export your video as it is in Doodly, and then you would add the video outro um, in a different program. I usually use Windows 10 free video editing software, but you can use whichever one you want, but you can create your video outro in Doodly, and like I said, I have a video for that as well, all right? So, and you'll see that linked up here, like I just said. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful. This is how you can work with templates in Doodly, and as you can see, you get a ton of them for free, and um, they're gonna be a lot of fun to play with, and I just want you guys to enjoy using this program, you know, created by some seriously awesome people who genuinely seem to care about your experience using their product, okay? It takes a lot to impress me when it comes to companies and stuff. Um, I can tell you I really, really believe these guys are not out for themselves. They genuinely want you to enjoy using their product, and they're constantly giving, okay? I can say that, and again, I'm not being paid to say anything. I'm, I don't make money off of whether or not you get doodly. So that is a genuine, authentic opinion of mine. Like I said, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoy using this program. I hope you enjoy your projects. And if you have any questions, if I can answer them, leave them in the comment section. If I can't, I'll just send you over to support at doodly.com, and they're always quick to respond. I hope you guys are doing well, and until next time, take care.